Hello everyone! In this tutorial I will be showing you the sewing machine parts and their functions. Let's get started! And the first functions are the connecting plugs and the main power, which is the light switch. The main power has two cables. One connects to the wall and the other is the foot controller. The next function is the spool pin. This holds the spool of thread. bobby winder this winds the thread onto the bobbin for use as the lower thread when winding the bobbin you can always look at the images above of your sewing machine that will remind you how to wind the bobbin thread guide this is used when winding the thread onto the bobbin and then threading the machine. Thread take up lever. This thread take up lever guides the thread up and down while sewing. Upper tension control dial. This controls the tension of the upper thread. If the upper tension is too tight, decrease the tension by turning the dial to a lower number. If the upper tension is too loose, increase the tension by turning the dial to a higher number. Presser foot holder and presser foot. The presser foot is installed into the presser foot holder. The presser foot applies pressure consistently onto the fabric as the sewing takes place. Flat bed attachment. The accessories are stored in a compartment inside the flat bed attachment. Put the accessories in the bag and then store the bag inside the compartment. If the accessories are not in a bag, they may fall out and be lost or damaged. Needle. It holds the needle while sewing. Needle clamp screw. This holds the needle in place. Presser foot lever. Raise and lower the presser foot lever to raise and lower the presser foot. Stitch selection, parent selection dial. This will help you to select the stitch that you wish to use. And the basic stitches that you will probably use more are straight stitch, zigzag stitch, and buttonhole stitch. Reverse or reinforcement stitch button. Reverse stitches are sewn by keeping the button pressed down to sew in the opposite direction. Hand wheel, used to manually raise and lower the needle, and also to hand sew. Threading the bobbin. Open the shuttle cover behind the extension table on the front of the machine and remove the bobbin case by pulling its latch toward you. Unwind about 4 inches of thread from a full bobbin and insert the bobbin onto the bobbin case. Pull the trailing thread into the slot, down and to the left, as shown in the video. Holding the bobbin case, insert this into the shuttle race. Make sure the bobbin case finger fits into the notch at the top of the race as shown in the video. With your left hand, hold the end of the upper thread. With your right hand, turn the balance wheel toward you. 
until the needle moves down and back up again to its highest position. The upper thread should have cut the lower thread in a loop. Pull the upper thread toward you and the lower thread will come up from the bobbin in a large loop. Now shut the shuttle cover and put the flatbed attachment back. And these are the basic parts of the sewing machine. It is always recommended to read the manual before using it, so you can understand better the functions and you don't find any problems at the moment of sewing. This other sewing machine that I'm showing you is computerized. It has various decorative stitches, but has the same basic functions than the first one. The only difference is that this is computerized. I hope you like this tutorial. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you later. Bye!